good at remembering my dreams. Do you ever have recurring dreams? I don't think I do. Anything? I mean, I think every day my husband walks in the door, it's like a recurring dream. I'm like, oh, he's back. It's true. She's the pretty woman that smiled and dazzled her way into all of our hearts. However, Julia Roberts has done some not so pretty things in the name of love. Today, the actress is married to the father of her three children, Daniel Motor. And while they're busy living their happily ever after, things didn't start out that way. In fact, things started in a rather scandalous manner for the couple. And by scandalous, we mean the adulterous kind. Yep, who would have thought that the angelic Julia Roberts fell in love with her current husband after having an affair? We have all the details on how the actress broke Benjamin Bratt's heart with an affair that not many people want to talk about. Steve, subscribe to Rumor Juice for more scandalous stories that will have you picking your jaw up off the floor. Don't forget to hit that notification bell too. Julia met Benjamin in 1997 when they bumped into each other at a restaurant. Benjamin walked into the room, and when Julia looked up at him, it was like he was whacked over the head with a baseball bat. Can you blame the guy? We can believe that Robert's smile can have that effect on people. Can I stay a bit longer? Stay forever. The actual story is wildly interesting and calamity filled and hilarious and wonderful and all these great things that are incredibly personal and private to us. Julia said about the night they met, wanting to keep the details of the evening to herself. Roberts and Brett went on to enjoy an incredibly sweet relationship before things went so wrong and they had no control over how bad things were going to get. During their relationship, the Hollywood stars and real life sweethearts were just ecstatically happy together. According to what she told Oprah Winfrey in 2000, Roberts confessed, we're drunk with joy 24 hours out of the day. We're sickening. The actress also gushed over Brat with every opportunity she got, saying, he's very good looking and his handsomeness pales in comparison to his kindness. This is all a girl could ask for really. It's no doubt that Julia was obviously madly in love, bubbling over with joy while cozied up in the bliss of their fairy tale romance. However, when it came to how Benjamin felt, he seemed to be a man of very few words. He admitted that how he felt couldn't be summed up in a few sentences, but he did try to do just that while saying, she's an incredible woman. It seemed as though Roberts and Brad had what it took to take Hollywood by storm with their love. They had a swoon-worthy and loving relationship, which is why they managed to make it work for a few years. Sadly, love wasn't enough to withstand their unusual circumstances. Both of us deserve better than staying together because we're afraid we'll be destroyed if we don't. Sadly, after almost four years as a couple, Benjamin Bratt's publicist confirmed in June 2001 that he and Julia Roberts were no longer together. While talking to David Letterman, Roberts explained that it had come to a kind and tender-hearted end but acknowledged that the media couldn't accept the amicable nature of the split and instead had to make it messy and ugly. I love Benjamin. He's a good man. He's a fine man. He is to the exaltation of the female single population, not my man anymore. Yeah. Sad, but true. The press had reported that the stars had split because he was jealous of her attention to her co-star, George Clooney. Beyond that, an insider claimed that Roberts was having a tough time handling the fact that she'd gotten the boot from Brat. As for Brat, he opened up about the failed romance in 2002 and referred to Roberts' level of fame, admitting, I wasn't so naive as to go into that relationship thinking, this will be an entirely normal experience. I experienced that living at that level of visibility is something that doesn't appeal to me. So was it all as amicable as they were making it out to be? Well, to put it simply, no, it wasn't. This is where Julia's current husband, Daniel Motor, comes into the picture. Both Roberts and Motor were in committed relationships when they met on the set of the film The Mexican back in 2001. Motor, a cinematographer, had been married to makeup artist Vera Steinberg for four years, while Roberts was still with Benjamin. They had also been dating for almost four years. Despite both being in committed long-term relationships, it didn't stop the pair from falling head over heels in love with one another. By the time the cameraman met the actress, his marital commitment to Vera had gone out the window. Motor filed for a divorce a little over a year later, but Steinberg didn't want to sign the divorce papers. It was alleged that Roberts had tried to shame her into it, which quickly backfired, putting her reputation on the line. The actress seemed to lose her hard-won status as America's sweetheart, and her career took a fumble too. 
As far as her personal life, however, everything worked out. According to reports, Roberts insisted that she wasn't the reason for Motor's divorce, but the rumors were too powerful to ignore. He sorted his whole thing out, separate and apart from me, the actress confessed, and I sorted my life out, separate and apart from him. I think that's the only reason we were able to ultimately fall in love with each other and be together. At one point, Roberts was photographed wearing a DIY t-shirt that read, A Low Vera. This didn't help the scandal. When the actress was asked why she wore the shirt, she replied, It was private. I stand by my t-shirt. It might have been private, but people thought that putting it on a t-shirt makes it not so private anymore. Especially when it had the name of her lover's ex-wife on it. This wasn't the first time Julia used her style to throw shade at those who had done her dirty. In the past, the actress broke off her engagement with Kiefer Sutherland after she found out he was cheating on her. Following their split, the actress was said to have thrown shade at Kiefer by seeking comfort in the arms of his best friend, Jason Patrick. On the eve of what would have been their wedding date, Roberts turned up to a photo shoot wearing Patrick's shirt and his baseball hat. Julia clearly doesn't go for the subtle blow. When asked if she was the cause of the motor's divorce, Roberts said, I'm an easy person to point the finger at. She did it, and I see that. I don't begrudge people the easy finger point. It just doesn't happen to be so. When Motor's divorce was eventually finalized, he immediately took the opportunity to propose to Roberts. They made their love official later that year and said their vows on July 4th, 2002, at Roberts' New Mexico ranch. Does anyone else see an ongoing theme with Mexico here? They met on the set of The Mexican, and then they married in Mexico. Hmm. Coincidentally, they wed around the same time that Roberts' ex, Benjamin Bratt, also got married to fellow actress Talisa Soto. At the time, Robert said Motor makes me feel my most comfortable self. I don't alter myself in any way. He has helped me protect my person and keep my person where I want to be. It's not hard to figure out that Motor is significantly less famous than Roberts. However, unlike Julia's ex, Brad, Motor seemed to be completely unbothered by his new wife's fame. But maybe that's what made the couple work. Roberts had previously had a string of high-profile relationships with equally famous men over the years, and Motor was different from every one of them. I think that first kind of real, seismic shift was meeting Danny, Roberts told Gwyneth Paltrow in 2018. Getting married to Danny, that was the first, like, my life will never be the same in the most incredible, indescribable way. They probably also worked because they'd both previously been married. Roberts had been married to country singer Lyle Lovett for two years back in 1993. The Notting Hill star was also previously linked to Dylan McDermott, Matthew Perry, Jason Patrick, and Liam Neeson. Julia and Daniel welcomed the twins Phineas and Hazel in 2004. Their third child, son Henry, was born in 2007. The thing is, we have these three human beings who are just a complete reflection of the affection we have for each other, Julia shared. What's like the ideal thing that you would like to get or do with the family? Um, just all five of us be like home and cozy all day. Roberts later said her kids don't really understand how famous she is, and she doesn't think that they'll ever have a true sense of her fame. When they were starting to figure it out, it was like, you're famous? And I said, I think a lot of people might have seen the movie that I'm in or might know who I am. Maybe an hour goes by. Are you more famous than Taylor Swift? The actress also admitted that there's no way to describe her relationship and life with her kids without sounding sappy or ridiculous, because everything in her mind ends with an exclamation point. In Gwyneth Paltrow's podcast, Roberts revealed that her husband is still her favorite human. Although the couple had a rocky start to their relationship, after almost 20 years together, they've proved that what they had was so much more than just an affair.